The Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute conducted a study that revealed the fish died due to inadequate supply of oxygen when organic matter is decomposing in the lake. Further, the dumping of waste into the lake also contributed to the death of fish. According to Kisumu Governor Anyang Nyongo, what's happening to the lake is a natural phenomenon. What is happening in the lake is a natural but complex phenomenon that has affected the entire region, including all the counties straddling Lake Victoria. The same has been reported in Uganda and Tanzania. These, we strongly believe, could be the benefits, that could be the effects of climate change. Kisumu has pledged to procure fingerlings worth 2 million shillings to supplement the cage farmers. My government is greatly concerned by the massive losses incurred by the cage fish farmers in the lake. This is because they offer employment to many people and help supplement fish supplies in the market. We will procure fingerlings worth 2 million shillings and fish feed worth 1 million shillings to be distributed to the affected fish farmers in the mentioned beaches to help them restock and recover the losses. Though Anyang Nyongo recognizes the ecological imbalance in the lake, many other neighboring counties like Humabe and Migori are experiencing the same thing. In Homabe County, farmers are counting losses following the death of fish in 40 cages in Lake Victoria. The lake is currently choking with high nutrient loads resulting into algae in bloom which has affected the ecological imbalance in the waters. As we count these losses, I appeal to the fish farmers to ensure proper and scientific disposal of the dead fish to avoid further pollution. While Lake Victoria is a victim of industrial runoff upstream, I also wish to instruct officers of the Department of Environment to tighten surveillance to ensure compliance by local industries. For Ebro TV, Amode Francis.